हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड दिस लाइव इज लिटिल बिट ट्रिकी सो आई रिक्वेस्ट टू प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो केयरफुली बिकॉज इफ यू मेक अ वन सिंगल मिस्टेक एंड देन यू आर नॉट एबल टू गेट अ स्कोर ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर टास्क एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट इन डिटेल्स सो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो केयरफुली सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट लॉग इन विथ यूर क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड वन डन विद दिस जस्ट सिम्पली कम बैक ओवर हेयर एंड हेयर कैन सी जस्ट सिम्पली क्लिक ऑन दिस वेरीफाइड डोमेन नाउ जस्ट वेट देन क्लिक ऑन दिस नेक्स्ट and then click on this verify it will refresh the page so just wait for that and it's done now you don't have to do anything just simply click on this admin okay now just simply come on the task number 1 scroll down and here you can see we have to create new users for that first of all just copy this name copy this name click on this hamburger and then click on this directory and then choose a users like this then click on this add new user paste the name over here then copy this last name paste over here like this then click on this add new user now just wait and then click on this add another user like this okay now for the another user just simply scroll down copy this name paste over here then copy this last name and paste over here it must look like this then click on this add new user like this then click on this done and done now just wait for couple of second and just refresh the page and here you can see both the user if you are not able to see no need to worry just refresh the page couple of times you will definitely able to see as you can see so we have done with task number 1 now if you just simply click on the check my progress for task number 1 you will get a score without any issue okay now for the task number 2 what we have to do first of all we have to just create two organizational unit so just copy this name teachers click on this organizational units like this then click on this create and just paste the name and then click on this create now here please pay attention guys once you done with the teachers if you just simply scroll down here you can see just copy the students just copy that and then click on this create paste the name and then click on this create and here you can see student and teachers okay once you done with this just simply click on this users now here please pay attention guys first of all you can see alex just click choose this then click on this more and then click on change organizational unit for the alex you have to choose teachers and then click on this continue and then click on change so it's done now for the emma just choose that again click on this more option then choose change organization and for the emma you have to choose student and then click on this continue then click on this change now for the cross verification what you have to do just refresh the page and then click on the student and are you able to see am i over here no just refresh the page couple of times and until and unless you are able to see emma and alex as you can see in student i was able to see emma in teachers i am able to see alex once you done with this if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait and watch as you can see we are able to get a score on the task number 2 now here what you have to do first of all just copy this name then click on this groups and then click on this create groups paste the name over here now for the group email just copy this group email like this paste over here now just copy this workspace just copy this thing and here you can see group owner just paste over here just wait and just choose this okay now click on this next okay now uncheck this tick three check boxes like this if you just simply come back over here you can see it's uncheck okay now for who can join this group just only invited user like this you have to choose that and then click on this next again scroll down click on this create group and then click on this done just wait and it's done now if you just hover over here you can see add member just simply click over here now here you have to just add two members first one is emma and second one is alex so just copy this name call emma paste over here and then choose that then copy this name call alex paste over here and then choose it like this click on add to groups and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait and watch Okay now task number 3 is little bit tricky so i request you please watch the video carefully first of all what you have to do we have to just disable gmail for student for that just simply click on this apps 
and then click on this Google workspace and from here you have to choose Gmail like this okay now just simply click on this service status like this and then choose the student okay and then click on this off and then click on override in Gmail we have choose student and off like this now here what you do click on this groups and here you can see search for the group for that just simply scroll down copy this gmail paste over here like this and then choose this then click on this close click on this on checkbox and click on save and you are done with this part now what you have to do we have to disable calendar for everyone so just check for the calendar click on this calendar then click over here and then off for everyone then click on save so we are done with this part as well now we have to just make sure that google meet is enabled for everyone for that what you have to do just simply click on this google meet and here you can see for me it's enabled on for everyone if it not just simply click over here and then choose a on for everyone and then click on the save so we are done with this part now no need to worry about this just simply come on this enable drive and disable external sharing files for that what you have to do just simply search for drives and docs like this okay then click on the sharing settings like this and here you can see just wait and here you can see sharing option just simply click on this pencil icon and then click on this radio button of off and uncheck this checkbox like this you have to just choose off and uncheck this checkbox once you're done with this just simply scroll down and click on this save and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score just rewind the video and watch the task number three and do the your task okay once you're done with this and task number four is very easy what you have to do just simply scroll down just simply click on the show more then choose the security and then choose the access and data and then choose the api control now just wait and then click on the settings icon like this okay now we have to just set one custom message just simply click on this pencil icon click on this on now for the message just simply scroll down here you can see access denied just copy this message and paste over here like this and then click on this save and it's done now again click on this pencil icon and then choose a don't allow user to access to any third party apps like this and then click on this save click on this save and it's done if you follow the way i show the video you will get a score on task number four without any issue just wait and watch and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys